I have muesli. I guess. <laughs> so you're in the room now where you stay, right? Yep. Okay. Perfect. And you guys all in the same house? Uh, no. Rina and Dina, they're in another dorm, which is quite far away from here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ah, Martin. Hi, Martin. Yeah, can you hear Yes, I can hear oh. you now. The, uh, you can see us also, right? Me and Maria. Yeah, but like, wait. Oh, yeah, click on her. I can see ah. her, right? I can see you also now. Okay, no, okay. I put it on a big screen. Uh-huh. <laughs> so you can, when someone is speaking, um, it's different for me, of course, because I've set this up and I'm kind of in the role of a presenter. When okay. you speak, then I can see your video. Cool. Put it on a big screen and I can see everyone at the same time. Ah, okay. Really? How are you, Manira? Are you tired? I am. I just woke up. Did you yesterday to be tired? Um. <laughs> I already forgot. <laughs> like, um, celebrated. Then it's yeah. coming in. I can hear him. He's inside. He's in my class, actually. But on his own computer, right? Yeah, we were thinking that we could do it on one computer, but then I managed to do it because I'm not really a technology for mm -hmm. yeah. Can you hear us? Yes. Perfect. Um, the small little icon next to your name has a, you know, a symbol on it. Yes. Oh, we can see you. <laughs> you different room now, Martin. You're sitting in different rooms. Yes, on uh, this side. I can get me actually through the corridor. It's really funny. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's kind of funny to try this out when you are close by and you could also meet. First, if we would be sitting in other places, that's different. Uh, uh, Ekta is also there. Yeah. Hi. Hi. So for you, there is a small icon next to your name, which has a video symbol on it. If ah, you okay. Then we want to see you. <laughs> Dance the beard. How was it into the webinar? I was it difficult? Did you have to enjoy it? Oh, no, it was so easy. It was like two steps. It was really easy. Everything was, I just need to insert my name and uh, it. it was really easy. Okay, very good. Yeah. Oh, this is the four of you. Little people are missing. To, to come. now. Okay. And um, um, um. So did you guys heard about yesterday's parade attack in France? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I was like shocked in the morning and I heard that news and I was like, oh my god. What happened? You can tell I didn't hear anything. Actually, yesterday it was that parade in France, and a Tunisian guy, he just came into a lorry and then started shooting in the parade. And I don't know, there are like more than 50 adults, like there were children, girls, boys, everywhere, like the public who were taking part in the parade. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I got this trophy actually right now in front. How long has it gone crazy? <laughs> How can somebody do something like that? How can they have that guts and that crazy feeling to do something like that? Yeah, reading it, it says 84 people died. Oh, yeah. I the number, but I knew it was like more than 50. Is this, is, I think if it's confirmed also or not, maybe it will increase the casualties. Yes. It's just it was 80. Hmm. It's so did you break it? I'm it right now. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. No, no problem. <laughs> this is a person in the morning. I really did die. Uh, I just uh, googled news from. Okay, I'm copying you a, a headline of a of a news. It says terror attack. It's oh not without thinking. It, it doesn't mean nice, of course. It means it's a, it's uh -huh. nice. it's, uh -huh. So I think that this is a, a good example for who should have thought about this and written the city of Nice or something, you know? Yeah. So I is already just, uh, checking out these little tools that we have down there, you know, below the list. You have hand. Do you see the hand? I am using the hand now, so if you are having a... Then I can say, please raise your hand, you know, if you are leaving in this. So you can see your hand. You can move your hand again. Okay. And you also use uh, this small little check. Or so you can uh, nicely communicate um, back to the person speaking. And then you can also, you know, in most of the cases, as part of the webinar, it would be that the preacher is speaking and the others uh, should not be speaking because you'll have a lot of sounds from different places coming in, right? So then mute you. Can you see Then next to your name, you can unmute yourself now also. So. I think that you unmute yourself so that I can hear you again. Can you Munir or remove the video? This um, is your sound. Can you try yourself again? No, I cannot anymore. No, yeah. No, okay. You can unmute yourself. It's, it's, there was a message popping up. I to say that if that's how you set this up, you know, this like there's like 1500 options how to set up this webinar. We can uh, say if you can do that yourself or not. This is because I think Muni did it. But you guys were not there yet. We were playing a little bit and it was working. Okay. 
Yeah. Okay. That's an important feature, you know, if you're having a, a conversation, you could have only one person. If you were maybe sitting in a different place. So now we have better audio, and I can hear only you, Hector. Uh, and coding of as well, and of course, um, that's very important, right? Yeah. Some of um, people are even on the road, they're in a taxi or somewhere. Okay. They participate from anywhere, and then this audio is, is not good, of course, uh, for your recording. Everybody, we there again. Brandon is also there. Yeah. Oh, Brandon. Oh, hi. hi. I'm good. I'm good. I had some trouble coming online. No problem. We just want to have that trouble, right? What What happened to you? Oh, it, the web browser didn't. Um, Okay, so it didn't, uh, didn't load. Okay. Where are you right now, Brendan? Well, I'm in my room. We went about sounds. Oh. Now, everything is uh, connected to the audio. So we are speaking like we are all together in a room, and everybody can hear everybody. Oh, okay. So we have a uh, background noise, so you see the airport or, you know, whatever you are, they get all the noises from everyone. Okay. But I can also mute you. Like, for example, now I cannot hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah. And there's a small little button next to your name with a small video sign. Mm -hmm. That is your camera. Oh, okay. So if you switch down, then we can see you as well. Okay. It also takes a little time. She you know, has a little lag time. Mm -hmm. uh, also, depending on your internet connection, if you're also sending video, it could be that um, maybe the sound quality also you know, becomes less. Because video, of course, picks up your bandwidth as well. Oh, yeah. So you try to switch on the, the video. Oh, yeah. Ah, okay. So now it should be coming when you speak. So this, uh, this particular tool is um, set up like this, and when somebody is speaking, it should show the picture of the for speaking. Okay. Also a setting. I think on the right top side of the period you have from others where you can see everybody. Mm. Mark, you have done that as well, right? You have a big screen and you can see everybody's face. Yeah. Yeah. We're having breakfast together, I can see, no? I'm <laughs> missing four more people. Um, the chat, did you see the chat? Oh, yes, some of you have already written the chat. Are we working now, Martin? Because you're writing this working. Yes. We do have some visual elements. If you have the cameras on, we can, you know, we have all these, uh, the thing and you don't have to write it. So, not excluding so much of the, you know, the communication elements that we have you are in person. You can use the time also to check out the other elements that are there. Right. 
top of that, you know, Apex scene, basically, there's, um, I think uh, there's some menu points that you see. Then there's also uh, something like this it says uh, quick start, and then it says session info, and then it says whiteboard. Can you see that? Okay, somebody has opened another whiteboard. Maybe it was also me, I'm not sure. Coming. Okay. Hello. 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 How does it work? <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's it. There's uh, the first uh, info for everyone. There's a small little button next to your name, which has a video sign. You can turn that on so that we can see you as well. Okay. Yes. And it takes a little time now. We can see you. Perfect. <laughs> Good. We are already six or three more. Missing Lisa and Dina, Nora. Okay. okay. How many people do you see on the screen? You you said that one because I want to three for. Now listing on the page? Oh, yeah. Okay. So we have the same. Do you want to the same goal? Yeah. Which is an oh. uh, option and a small screen, like you can view everyone, like three it's a small icon there on the right side. I hope finding their way into technology. Everyone's at home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is very floating. <laughs> What is everybody eating for breakfast? What are you having? <laughs> Mushroom omelette. Mm, sounds good. Yeah. I had a muesli. I had a muesli. Can you draw me a little bigger? Can you show? Um, the cherry box I got from Brandon. Okay, keep it busy. Okay. Mm -hmm. It is dry and it is like really dry. <laughs> okay. Okay, I need to check. You can. You have already uh, tried it out. You can you know, change different settings. Whiteboard as well. Yes. Yeah. Can you write something on the whiteboard. Um, there's a couple of tools on the top. When you know below says where it says whiteboard, there's a T and then there's a small symbol. Yes. So. Hello. So you have a bigger screen than mine, going all the way down. So now, Grace, what you guys have done? <laughs> <laughs> Good. 
Who it is? Use the drum. It's quite okay the tools that you have available for doing stuff here. Check out how you can arrange your um, well. On the side, you have the list of participants and the ads. Can you see the breakout sessions? Mm -hmm. Is there more little that says breakout session? Not used yet, and I would like to try with you. A break session is like a group discussion from the main discussion. I think in, uh, we can try this out. I think I need to press press the start button here, and then you will see it. Okay, no is coming. Or is there twice? Can you see no twice as well? Yeah. See, this is this is a tool where you can make a clone of yourself. Yeah. So this is of course the the software. So I hope she is able to come in and you know, get again. Is no close by to someone or is she in a different place? She yeah, different place. Different place. Okay. I can uh, start something here in the meantime. So I have uh, okay. just uh, made an opinion poll. poll. Okay. You want you can opinion polls with the audience. The question that I'm putting. Yeah, we can see the yeah. question. Yeah. Can you? It's the option. I mean, um, with option to type because here it's, it's like you can you and uh, your answer may be recorded, but there's I don't see any text option. Okay. You yeah. Want 
answer. You can say so no, or you can type some text. Um, Where to type the text? Yeah. Into the chin. Oh. So. Volume height. I press submit, but <laughs> I didn't have any opinion. Let me put you another. Um, You can see time also for those questions. <clears throat> yeah. Let's sing down. I can I can seem to uh, honestly. Yeah. Uh, are you able to answer the question or you're not being able to type either? Um, I, but I I press submit and then now I can't do anything. And put a new question, and you can see if you can get something. Okay, Excel, you have entered something. I I just found the option and I clicked it and typed it, but I thought I was answering, but I made a question. <laughs> okay, so that's a Q A section. That's another section. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. How do I get back there now? See, there are so many options in this that you would have to plan very much in detail and check this out. How this works. Or hand. Were you to type something into questions? No. 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 Somebody is typing. Uh, Nora here. Let's see. Nora, can you hear us? Nora, good morning. Can you hear us? Oh, we see you also. Perfect. So it's now okay. I have Dina, Dina missing and it's all of us. Okay. Are you able to type something in the poll? No. I'm not. No, we can. I can. Now you can? Okay. I can too. Okay. <laughs> I can see now. <coughs> I cannot see who. I can see that some of you are typing. Something that is in progress, and some have finished. And because there is a time limit of five minutes, it will close then. 
questions can you see now? The tactics now, what is your name and new question? Okay. Yeah, I don't know what try, how about this? Mm -hmm. So this is quite interesting tool if you think of, uh, you know, kind of uh, training session or even a session, yeah, week four, because you cannot see who has answered what. So this is a way of getting uh, anonymous feedback, specific question. Oh, well, yeah. Uh, it's a lot uh, to do, in, you know, if you think that you are sending maybe and uh, you also do other things, and, and but handling such kind of a technology, uh, mostly two people. If, uh, maybe Mom can tell us a little more how about how it was when he was in Webinar when you participated? Um, when I use webinar, I use it as uh, some conference with people around uh, two persons. So it's kind of like more like a lecturers, or it's more like a one side, one communication. So there's the host who is the admin. Uh, and he kind of teach us something on the webinar. And at the end of the session, they knew us all to give a chance to ask some questions. Okay, do you ask yeah. a question? Um, we asked, uh, we just asked by our uh, using our voice. We didn't we didn't use any typings at all. Okay. Oh and there's an option that and you to show the your like screen for everyone to see that he can use his profile or his phone to T shirts. So yes. yeah. We have this option here also. I would like a to, to test it also when everybody is here then everybody can then be the printer once and show something it's quite interesting you can uh, show your screen so you can show anything that is on your screen at that point in time and you can of course then also use a, a powerpoint showing something and what the interesting in this way is that people can only uh, the information you show them during that webinar. It's not inside the webinar. So people cannot um, doubt the document, for example. Oh, Dina coming. Is that too? Yeah. There's a small little sign next to her name on the left side. Trying to log in from her phone. You see, you're seeing that it's a it's a small like a smartphone. Yeah. 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 There's uh, different ways of you know getting the audio system set up for a cons like this. Right now, they're all using. Um, the voiceover IP that comes with our computer. But the system can also call you if it's a you know, free paid version that the system will call you on any phone number that you enter. Or you can call in. This is how I technology started out that you call in a, a current number. Of course, we'll... Um, could get you know get you in spot depending on how much you pay for calling this certain number, right? Which country? Do they have this um, cost free calling numbers? So it seems Dina cannot 
get audio going. So maybe you can use the chat window. If you go into the chat window, you can see that you have different options of who to send the information to. Seeing last, the last message from Nora about her microphone, but that's working now, Nora, right? Yeah. Okay, perfect. There's a small little drop down list where it's sent to, and you can choose who to send an information to. And you have all four names as well, so you can send a private message. To one person only that doesn't show up in the chat window for everyone. <clears throat> Try out and see if they have a response. quite troublesome to keep changing the fever and it's better to have like maybe the pads so that it's you know you can just click on the chat if not if you get excited you can just reply but if it's to a wrong person then <laughs> yes that's my experience as well yeah. uh, you know it's not so much that you are using this in a normal work setting it's usually that you would have a set to all participants because you know, signed mode of, of posing a question as well. Mm -hmm. So if, if imagine that our audio is not connected, that only the, the speaker is speaking and nobody else is speaking, then you share your question um, with all participants. Okay. Sometimes, of course, may have, you know, maybe there's one person you want to ask something, but you have to be definitely very careful to, to make sure that you are getting the answer to the right person. <laughs> okay. There's also different ways of uh, icons that you have. It's when you're typing a chat, I think you don't have Epigrams, you have only text, nothing else. So, you want to send a smiley, you have to do it the, the old fashioned way. <laughs> when you're the participant list, if you see, you know, if you see everybody there in that, that window, there are some smileys you can use. That smiley comes next to your name. It's again a, a form of communication that then is visible to everyone. It's a bit like uh, maybe, you know, representing your face in the end. Because when there's lots of people on a on a meeting like this, which usually happens, you know, I have to meet 30, 40 people, then you can't see the videos anymore of these people, right? Too many to keep track. 
So that's why the system also um, always changes to the person who is speaking and shows their view. It's like a conversation that the full technology goes on to the person who is speaking. Okay, Dean, I missed that. Dean, can you hear us already? Hi, Dina. Hi. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. How your leg? We hear you now, Dina. You can just speak. You on, right? Yeah. Can you can you see us? Yeah, I can. Wait. And you know this will be a little bit more difficult, I guess, because you have a different user face, right? You have to find all those buttons, and we quite have a lot of things here on our laptop. Okay, got the video on now. This is good, so at some point we should see you. <laughs> yeah, see you. Sorry. Can you? See? And there is Lena next to you. Hello. Oh, sorry, no. just, Hi. Hi. <laughs> we are complete then. Yeah. yeah. And Dina, you were the only ones who came on the uh, came in on the smartphone. On, um, you can see everything hopefully. So you have to always tell us if if there's something that you might not be able to see while seeing it on on the laptop. Okay. Let's go through the functions from the beginning again, okay? So, the participants list, you can all see your names of everyone and uh, the, the green small little video sign on when you're, the video is there. You should be able to mute yourself there. Now, when uh, there is a small button right next to the video sign, you that. There is a small little cross comes next to your audio symbol, like the name right now, which means that your audio is off. So if you receive a phone call, or your dog is barking, or you know, somebody is making a lot of noise on your side, you can mute yourself and disturb the others. Only if you want to speak again, you can unmute it. So this is a, a, a very good functionality, and it's um, if you're ever presenting and, you know, holding a, a session like this yourself, you're leading it, and this is very important because it's, it's the whole experience for everybody. You know, if there's lots of background noises, and those noises of all of the people in the session are coming together, it might be very hard to understand others. And then I recommend to just have the speaker's sound and audio on and just unmute it. And somebody wants to speak, uh, then uh, you can unmute that person. As a presenter, you also have the option to make, make this, you know, mute everybody at once. Uh, especially when you're also not knowing whose sound is disturbing the session. So I um, I teach a class uh, which is called Creative Engineering in the winter semester starting in October, and uh, there is more than 100 people in the class, and people are joining also you know from everywhere. They may be sitting in a cafe, they may be somewhere, you know, can go in somewhere, and only um, you know some of them will be at in their rooms. But then. Uh, for a presenter, it becomes not so easy to figure out who is uh, creating that background noise. So you have the option to um, mute everybody at once. In okay, case when people are muted, small little uh, smiley icon of uh, given an impression of you know what's uh, the feeling of uh, listening here. 
if you communicate this, of course. Uh, right now, I can also see an exclamation mark. Take Brandon's name now. Uh, you also have the option to use the hand. So raise your hand, you know, if you need another five more minutes. You can use uh, this uh, small little checkbox. Already done this? Yes. Do you have a problem? You have not done this. Can you state this changing next to my name? So you can use that. And get like this to the presenter. And there's also a, like an eraser on the very right side, and it has clear feedback. So you can remove everything you have there if you want to be without any feedback anymore. So then there's also different views. I I think if there's some small icons, if you're on a laptop, where to switch between the participant list and the thumbnail view. Okay, if you choose the thumbnail views there, you can see the small little video as well. The option on the top of the, the, the window, where to view all participants in full screen view. If you have the option to have another big screen, maybe, yeah. then you can keep your visual connection to your audience like, like this. So we figured out that we can see one, two, three, five. I can see six videos, and more people then send this to another page. Okay, so also, I don't know if you saw Nora, she just left. Proceed. <laughs> <laughs> so also when you're in this view of seeing other people, we in kind of you know big screen. On the top of your screen, there's a small little thing that comes down, up and down. It it removes itself. Can you see that? Yes. So this top that allows you to different windows coming back. So you can get a participants list or the chat window come and disappear. Because you want to see the faces and at the same time be able to type something, right? Especially if you are the person who is helping to facilitate the session, then to be able to to access these pictures while you're seeing uh, this as well. You know, just uh, you know, presenting this to you or showing this to you, it's uh, becoming quite this is what you normally do in a classroom. You know, when you do so many things at the same time, I hear different functionalities of the technology, right? The chat, you know, raise your hand, is in another place. So the technology is, is uh, giving us lots of options, but it seems to be overwhelming somehow. Mm. What do you think? That's great. I mean, like we all are in different places, but still we all are together. Yeah. How are the, the functionalities? It's quite a lot to, to manage at the same time, right? Or it's okay. It's legible. It's legible. I think, yeah, because it's much time I'm using. It's still carry on, so okay. yeah, it wasn't too difficult to register. And yeah, <laughs> it's it's a a registration. Okay, did you install something or did, did it yeah. work like that? Yeah, yeah. to download something. Okay, yeah, very really quick. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so this this was functionality here. It's connected to your participants list. And the chat window that we already tried out, right? Be careful to make sure 
the right person is receiving your information. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Thank you. This is actually when you ask like a lot of participants, no? And you're asking them to uh, accept their questions uh, through the chat. So the list moves very fast, this chat list. A lot of people are in the session and you get questions or comments. Um, it comes like a very long thing. So um usually have somebody who is watching the participant uh, the chat window. Uh, they're able to you know pick out questions that need to be answered. So basically it's the requirement that there have to be at least two people managing something like this with lots of participants. So then you also the the Q A function has already sent me a question. Maybe you can send. You can all try to send me a question as well. Are you fine? The Q and A section. Mm -hmm. At some point. This time I'll go to the whiteboard again because now we are everybody is here. So I'm not sure if we have had everybody ready before this whiteboard the um, just below the name of the whiteboard you get a couple of tools that you use to write on this board Okay, we share with you some answers as well because the questions that are coming in are also interesting for everybody. <laughs> uh, he has asked a question about administration. Will we have a 15 minute break as well? <laughs> <laughs> I think we're going maybe a little longer than normally, but then finish earlier. So you have time to then uh, work on your project. I, I guess it will not be later than 11 o'clock. Okay. So then another question. Martin's question will take a longer time. First I'll answer Munir's question. What is the difference between a host and a presenter? Good question. Um, it's actually easy to uh, to uh, understand this. So is the person uh, set up this this webinar, uh, this particular session? Is uh, is psychology needs this? So I am the host and the presenter. Will uh, you know this out? How you can become the presenter as well. And I, uh, I don't know if you're ready. We can do this right now. We can jump around a little bit. There is, you can see a small ball next to to my name, which is Netacat at Kultur Impuls. Okay, it's blue and green, a ball. So if I give the ball, let, let me use. Chan first. You have had an experience. So I'm King Chan presenter now. If you're seeing the, the small ball next to Chan's name. Right. You should be able now to share your desktop. You can do this in the quick start tab on the left side overseeing this is the left side yes Chan, you were sharing your desktop it's a couple of minutes seconds to come yes uh, 
Dann ist äh, Surfing Facebook, weil wir in der Webinar. <lacht> <lacht> also, ja. Eure Videos ist für die Video Again, into aggression because if somebody is passively um, 
cannot uh, choose to be in the communication. And it can also lead to, uh, you know, let's say, very negative experience uh, from people. Only if you go into this cycle of trying to be in a relationship with yourself and your own uh, feelings and, and real, you know, thinking that's on in your mind and that situation you're in, you have the possibility to be constructive. Into that content, uh, you know, again here, I just wanted to show you, you know, a, a few minutes of how presentation would work here. So let's ask you right away, how does this feel in comparison to uh, doing this in class? Uh, more, it, it feels that it's more IT savvy. <laughs> I understand that from the audio point of view. Can you repeat that, Brandon? How did it feel? Um, it, feels, it feels more high tech. Okay. Yeah. You feel connected to me or to the person presenting? Are you missing the others to see them, you know, closer to you? Or? Uh, I'm not too sure. <laughs> More value. Okay. How about us, Brandon? Uh, I mean, by how, how about the others? I don't really understand that. Actually, I meant um, others should also comment. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's hand over to this. It's beginning your exclamation mark coming. Exclamation mark? Yes, mouse on it. My mouse, my mouse. Ah, okay. The function the presenter or the host the presenter is seeing to make you guys to the presenter. Um, it's uh, it's showing how many people are attentive, how many people are inattentive. Um, hmm. I need to show you this in a different way because if I'm showing you my screen, you'll see my screen, but you don't see the actual screen of the WebEx training session. Okay, so let me show you this. You see my screen now, right? Yeah. Close up. How many of you are listening? I mean, I'm not really sure how this. So, the software is doing this. It's noticing that you have been in different platforms doing something else, mm -hmm. or you are actually in the, the window of the training session and typing something. So, and this keeps changing. An interesting function for somebody who is presenting, of course, because you will see this moving, right? depending what he says. So this is actually more information that what you have when you are sitting in a classroom, right? Able to 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 make this information on on using in the classroom. Not, you know, I can say fully not make and will to make it, uh, but be your mind or somewhere else. <laughs> also, you know, not so. I have not been able to use this before so much. So I think this is a new function that has come into play. Especially if you're working in a corporate area, this, you know, keep people in the meeting, having their attention for a topic that is being discussed is, 
it's uh, not that easy. But this was a requirement from uh, the market for this technology to make sure that people do not go off and do other things while they're in the webinar. Because they're connected to the webinar, I can see you in the participation list, attendee list. Actually, you're not present at all. You're doing something else. Right, uh, one of the features that came into play for this. Yes, Brendan, I will send you the PowerPoint slides of all uh, the sessions that I've had with you. You will get that okay. so probably by email. So, Mark had a, a question in the QA what is the meaning of life? Really important. Wow. <laughs> wow. And I think we should devote more time in our lives to figure it out. This is really the you know the older you get, the more you think I should have answered this question for me. <laughs> like, what is the meaning of your life? I this for this question. Yeah, thank you for this question. This is really important. We back to this. So like somebody else is a presenter, who's to present us something? It can be anything, you know, don't think of, you know, PowerPoints and all that. Anything you have just seen lately, so that you can get experience of how it feels to be a presenter. And okay, if you want to be the next presenter. Raise your hand. Raise your hand. It's the option down. Yeah. After the list of participants, uh, there's the option on the left hand side. I don't, yes. Yeah. Okay. If you don't see your video, then this is the perfect way to do this. So I'll make you as a presenter now. Yeah. Huh? How should I my screen? On the first uh, tab on the left side of your screen, it says Quick Start. Quick Start tab, you have that function by the desktop. You find it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I, I was Googling about food design the other day, came across this website. And it's online courses. It's one of the uh, courses. Uh, they have like six courses. The first is free, and then subsequently it's like two hundred plus dollars for for eight like videos. So I'm still considering if I want to purchase it. But so far I've only watched the first one, and it looks quite. Interesting. And it's quite interesting how they have these online courses, and you actually pay hundreds of dollars for these online courses. I'm, I'm too sure if it's worth the money because the, the idea of paying something online for lecture videos is is foreign to me currently. But like you asked me to enroll in a course physically for 200 plus I think it is totally reasonable, but if it's online, there's this element of empathy and and, and I'm not sure if it's legit. Yeah. Okay. I what it is cheaper? Would you uh, think about it differently? Yeah. What is the price that you would consider to go into? Um, below 100. Okay. On the market in you know, all this, this learning stuff and you know V classes and master classes, you will be seeing more and more of things coming and um there'll be lots of stuff but there's also you know things that will be payable. I think I find it interesting to see that even the you know the sessions, what are the topics that he is uh, interesting or you know considers in his chapters. It's like uh, design, designing with food. Can you go back to food yeah. design? Yeah, food design about food, design for food. 
So yeah. here's some, some ideas of how some people... Ideas. Are, that is yes. Something that I found, though. Mm-hmm. BNG for Inspired 2012 Collection. Okay. The brand, then they had a... They were off in the Milan Fashion Week. And it plowing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Bring <Yeah. out. laughs> then there is pilots. <laughs> yeah. There is oh. yeah. another pasta earring. It's quite it's strange <laughs> that topic that you have. You have a kiki, so it's uh, it's becoming yeah. you know, even yeah? On you. <laughs> and it's been there since 2012, so it's been four years. Maybe mm-hmm. progress further. Mm-hmm. Plans. Like, <laughs> yeah. So she happened to have all these um, multi-apps. Venice as a background. That is a beautiful picture. Yes, I. This when I was in Venice, I think it was last year or something. Mm-hmm. Venice is a beautiful place to go. I I always like to go back there any time possible. It's. Uh, but it's really very near from here, right? Pretty far, you know. From Vienna, it's maybe four hours drive. Ah. Uh. Okay. And then also that goes overnight. Mm. Yeah. It's seven hours or twelve hours. Yeah. It's seven hours like this from China. Yeah. I quickly check. Okay. How does it feel to be presenting? <laughs> it's it's because you can just share something that's on your desktop, right? Yeah. Not being the presenter. There is a stop button somewhere. Stop. Mhm. Okay. It's very similar to Skype. Hmm. F lady. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> it's really it has that function now also, right? You can yeah. you can share your screen. Since it was bought by Microsoft, there was a lot of uh, um, uh, improvements, of course, that to use that. There's a Skype for business, which is, of course, uh, you know, the competition to some to a tool like WebEx. Yeah, you can, uh, you can share screen and all. Very handy in something like this WebEx, and there's also links which used to be a Microsoft for Business, and there's I think Adobe Connect, which is a tool that you know similar functions. That's when you know you getting to know these functionalities here, you will be able to figure out other tools as well. Um, what's an important function for me is to record a session. Mm, yeah. That I have not found yet in in other tools. And possibly when you pay for them, I guess you get the recording function. Okay. Who wants to try to present next? Hand <laughs> next to your name. <laughs> About your ideas that you may be working on, just like Kiki, that was a perfect uh, setting. And, you know, it doesn't really matter. We are checking out the technology. Extra one, two. Here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Hands. So it's on the left side. 
Uh, we I can give that quick uh, start. Yes. On the left side, on the top, there is this uh, different types. One says quick start, one says session info, and one is the whiteboard. So quick start, you have that button yeah. here, my desktop. Can you see it now? Yes. Mm. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, now it's coming. Okay, great. Checking my USDT model actually. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. So you are in the in the online system of the USDT. Yeah, I uh, um, <laughs> because we have like our um, yeah. 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 Yeah
how to is like English uh, uh, because what I do is sometimes like this I have this option here like translate to English so there is no option in the page to translate then I just translate with the help of Google Chrome though it, it doesn't translate very properly still I can understand it but so this system is really good this module system of this university yeah it's like you know you have every research and like reading material in your one so it's working very much uh, welcome nice picture cute dog that dog lover too. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh no. I am like a crazy lover for dogs. <laughs> it's not just love. <laughs> okay. Good. If you in a professional setting, you know that that be your screen, right? So if you don't want this, you uh, you know stop sharing your screen before you get out of the presentation. Oh, okay. Okay, you find top button. Okay. So who next? Martin? Out of the shot now. It's uh, two minutes something. Minute. Feeling how it becomes a your desktop. Maybe you have a nice uh, session. Uh, <laughs> sure. Extra as well. Yes. Yeah. Um. Uh, on the very left top side of your screen, there's a quick start tab. When you go there, you the share my desktop button. Yes, it's coming. Yes? Yeah. Uh -huh. So, have this system. Mm -hmm. Tools. And, for example, if I go on this one, because this is the relevant one, I guess. Cool. We can, like, access all the topics of the week on it. And if we click on one of them, like for example, um yes, this one. Okay, this isn't a good example. Wait. If we go on that one, we can like access like um all the reading material and the PowerPoint. To be fair, this page is not really well made in the way I'm the um, Don't put it like on that one. That's going to be a better. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I can, I can find like a summary of my module. That we have some questions as well that are related to the seminar. And what we have to read for each seminar. And we have like the material we have to um, prepare. And here are the here are the slides, here are the lecture recording, um, here are the readings. And I can try feedback, which I'm not gonna click on now because it's a bit bad. Um, here is my timetable, and um, we can see what else can we see. Yeah, we, here are some other sites that have the learning, you have student wraps. Um, and in, here in the corner, hold on, here we have this like suffix email thing, and we can access it from here as well. On this site, the, um, I mean this one, then 
Yeah, this, this has like all our details. It has the term dates. Um, I don't do whatever we want on this side, basically. This is how we connect with the university. So it has all my details about my housing, tuition fees. Um, it has a library. Like all books in the library are online as well, so we can access them from here. And it has, um, I don't know, let's go on this one. Yes? Are you going to class then? You can do everything online, no? Yeah, we can do everything online, but I mean, we have to because, like, the attendance counts, especially for international students. Okay. Yeah. So I can check everything here. Yeah, that's it really. Thanks. Okay, how, how do I stop it like that? Yes, yeah. perfect. So you are very uh, assisted at the university with everything in one platform. You muted all of us just now. <laughs> yes. Did the sound change? Uh, you know, there was some background noises before, and then it became really quiet. It was a uh, button and me. Mm -hmm. More louder, right? Yeah. Yeah. If you want to have a really good experience in a, in an online meeting or conference, this the sound is really can you that feeling if it was good or not, if it was understandable or not. Important that you hear everything you want to hear. I want to try next. Thank you, Martin. Okay. Moon, share something with us. Some thoughts you have from your computer or something about a project, the project that you guys want to work on. <laughs> yes. I'm thinking about to share though. You're thinking, okay. Nothing on my laptop. <laughs> okay, Nora. No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're still eating, no problem. Dina and Dina, can you try to, to share? I'm not sure how easy it will be on the... I don't it will work, actually. Let me to make you a presenter. I can make you a presenter. Okay. Yeah. Smartphone, you can't present. Okay. You know, if you don't want to use the opportunity to present, that's fine with me as well. Somebody has some, either next to a road or something. I'm not sure who it is, of course. Where it's passing by. No problem. You see, you will notice the difference as well. I'm reading this, so you can check into this again. Afterwards. How it also works with, you know, having a record. You, you go to, uh, just like uh, Martin also just showed us, you know, there's the recording of the, the session that you had in class. So you do this and use it. Um, so actually you could do a bridge between people sitting in class and have this web training session on during the uh, conversation. And I'm close to the computer so that the sound also gets transported. We have people in other places of the world joining our lesson in Vienna. Mm. Right? Because you would be, in, um, I'm connected to the, um, and my PowerPoint view as well to show it. And because running on my computer, I can also share it with people who are 
you know, joining us remotely. I all see the same thing. So this is really a, a you know, these new options of how to next um, the in-person meetings with people who cannot come. For example, we have Dina, right, who cannot could not come to class yesterday. But now, Tina, you have to tell us how is your leg. We have not heard that yet. I not hear you. I can see that you are speaking, but we cannot hear you. And you are not muted. So maybe something is... Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you now. Okay, can you please start again? I put medicine on it yesterday. Mm -hmm. uh, I put ice on it and I put a bandage on it. And the mm -hmm. Nora gave me this patch thing to put on my leg. Mm -hmm. It really helped. So now my leg's much better now. Okay, that's very good to hear. You have uh, tomorrow and Sunday to get better also, and then hopefully we can you can come to class again on Monday. That's good to hear. Okay, so let's open up a question about this. I think we are, I have gone through everything. I'm not sure if you've done everything. Our breakout sessions. Let's just try to start breakout sessions quickly. Um, I don't know how this works. So sessions are basically, so if I would ask you in class, okay, now work the two by two. And, uh, so I need so ten minutes to work through these questions. Uh, can you see those sessions somehow coming to you? Okay. What is a breakout session? I don't see anything. You don't see anything. Breakout session. Is an option. It's because uh, probably Martin is still the presenter. Okay. okay. I have started breakout sessions now. I don't know what appears on your side, so maybe you can tell me what you see. If your voice conference will be switched from session to the braille session, do you want to continue? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can you, oh, you can hear me, right? I can hear you now, but I guess if you are going into that breakout session with another person, is that it has assigned you to a person. Maybe follow that link or whatever has come up for you there and say, yes, go there, and then try to come back to us and let us know what happened. Dina, Dina, right? No. Okay. Mm. What to do just now? I was call session and I couldn't hear anything anymore. Was it only, was it only you there or was somebody else there as well? Only one, I think. Mm. Okay. That room then. Okay, let this and I'll manually assign you 
do a breakout session, breakout assignment. Hmm. I think it's more difficult to do. Munira. Have you? Oh, okay. <laughs> Hi. Have you in the breakout session? Yeah, that. I don't understand. You go off to another session, right? Where you talk only to someone else, like a group work. Oh, like right. okay. I would you out and say, okay, we're in the classroom and say, okay, now we have uh, half an hour group work and you go to another room. So it's only the two of you. Okay. So I would know and then she disappeared. Okay. <laughs> she was there. Oh, okay. So okay. probably you should be able to, to go in that session with another person. I have all this tool here on how to assign you know, who goes with whom, and um, there's a function. I go to the breakout session again. Yeah, I don't know. I think I, I stopped it now. I would have to try this again. I will do a small session um, next week, and I need a little more how this works. Okay. Uh, okay. I can see this here. Um, allow attendees to break, create breakout sessions. That is now. Maybe you have a functionality now, a button somewhere where you can say create a breakout session. I have to say start first. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, got it. <laughs> yeah, you're still here. Oh, okay. Check out your your you know that whole surface there. Is there any other options where you can say create a breakout session where you can tell I want to be with with Ma or I want to be with Martin in the breakout session? I see people now being in the breakout session. Martin? Okay. Who came, who came back from a breakout session? Me? Hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. Okay. Was it? Was somebody there? No. No. I, I, I didn't saw I, I mean, maybe I couldn't understand it or something. I was trying to figure it out for some minute. It was like a pin drop silence. And then I could hear you and um, Manura talking. Uh, but yeah. So I guess it didn't work for you. I can see that Munira, Noor, and Chichi, uh, they went into a breakout session. Can you see that as well? Yeah, I can see that. It is a break session. No, there's a small little sign next to the name, right, for the breakout session. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. Okay. How was it? Did it work? No, the only one in my breakout session, I think. Okay. So then to talk to. Okay. I need to figure this out. How to assign it, and we'll we'll check this out next week. This is a cool function. If it works. <laughs> mm -hmm. So it was more discussion, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So um, I to uh, finish this then. I hope you you know had a good experience in getting to know this a little bit. Yeah. Um, we should um maybe take the weekend. That you really you know, think about some small projects you can do. So thank you. Um, presenting what your thoughts are about the food design. Okay, no problem. So, you know, because this is really 
have one more week of being of small projects we can learn based on them and it'll be fun to interact with some people out there on the road. Nina okay. uh, and Nora are still in their breakout session, so maybe it worked for them so they can talk to each other. So okay, Monica is coming back. We can get experience. Munir, did it work for you to go to the breakout session? Munir, me? I know. Yeah. Were you each other in the breakout session? Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Just like this year, right? But it's just the two of you. Yeah, okay. but we couldn't see each other. It was not working. No. Okay. And have, you know, it starts like a different surface, and then they go back to main session. Mm hmm Okay. Oh, perfect. Thanks. This out. You're the only ones where it worked. <laughs> really? Yes. Yeah. Um, I was saying now, so please uh, take time on the weekend to really think of a small project that you can then do next week. So uh, next week, Thursday and then Friday of, of sharing those experiences and presenting your small project. I would recommend you to do it with someone else because it's always, you know, more fun to get more input if you work with others. That experience to work with somebody else is, uh, you know, is a, an element by itself that is uh, okay. Questions now. We still have a little more time till eleven, but we can also close it if you are all fine. No questions. No questions. No questions. <laughs> Everyone. Good? Okay, so I will uh, send you a recording of this, so you can check out also how how this uh, this works. Oh, how you can cool. listen back into it. And yeah, I wish you an interesting and fun weekend, and we see each other again on Monday in person for you know talking there, hopefully with not too hot weather. Okay. Uh, yeah, that is awesome. Something. Sure. If yeah. going for the Sean Bone Pals tour thing later. I'm not. We went already. I'm not. Oh, really? I'm not. 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 I'm Deadly worth it. <laughs> okay. They're alone as well. That, that's uh, an, another option, of course. Okay. Rest of the day and the weekend, and I will see each other on Monday. Morning. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Sorry, thank out for me. <laughs>